Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about uh, the latest version of GTO Base 1.23. In this update we have implemented uh, aggregated uh, flop reports, uh, which includes uh, equity, equity realization and uh, EV for every flop, compact uh, representation of all flop strategies with navigation option, and a view of uh, aggregated strategy for each hand and all intersections of combo draws with uh, cross filtering options. Uh, we have also updated uh, the viewer, uh, which includes uh, new equity view modes, new interface for a fast uh, post-op selection, uh, additional info in a strategy metrics, and small visual improvements and display settings. First, uh, highlighting the action. So if we choose a certain action down here, uh, it is after highlighted uh, in the matrix and all the other actions uh, are now gray. Also, for better experience with uh, different uh, color themes, we have implemented uh, some uh, visual features. Uh, you can go uh, right here, theme settings, uh, then you can uh, scroll uh, down here. And here we can choose different uh, text uh, shadow options, like uh, if we select none, we see no uh, shadow here. If we uh, select drop, uh, then it drops down, or it could be lift uh, or outline. So yeah, just uh, choose the one you like uh, and uh, go with it. Also, it is easier now to select a certain node of the game tree. Uh, for example, if you want to analyze uh, a spot, you go here, post slope type, then you choose the number of players, uh, stack sizes, uh, and uh, post flop uh, situation, uh, single race pot, three bot pot, uh, and so on. Uh, then you can choose positions. So you basically choose a position for the out of position player, uh, then choose a position for the in position player. And down here we have a list uh, of uh, common spots. Uh, here, for example, a small blind out of position, big blind in position, small blind raises 3.3 uh, big blinds, uh, and big blind calls. Or here, for example, MP versus MP1. MP min raises, uh, MP1 calls. If this is the spot we want, we click play. Uh, then we have to choose uh, a certain board that we want to work on. And then we have it. One of the big new feature is uh, equity. You can now see equity for one player or for uh, two players. Uh, for example, you can see uh, an equity of a certain action or you can see an equity against uh, a certain action. Okay, what do we have to do to see the equity distribution? We just uh, click here on equity and we see equity matrix. And then we can see uh, our equity against certain actions. Uh, like for example, now you see display uh, values versus, uh, now we see uh, our equity, uh, equity of our hands uh, against uh, MP1 uh, whole range. And if we want to know our equity against certain action, for example, against uh, a call of uh, 2.13 bet, we click here and uh, there you go. We see equity of different hands uh, against the range he uses to call uh, this bet. So here is equity against a uh, call uh, 3.23 bet uh, range. Uh, let's take, I don't know, King Jack offsuit. Uh, this hand has 34% uh, equity against a calling range of uh, 4.33 bet. So yeah, this is how you check your equity against different uh, actions of your opponent. Uh, but if you want to see your equity against his whole range before any actions uh, took place, you just click here, current uh, MP1. And yeah, you can also see this report uh, in the two player mode. So we switch to two players. And here again, we see this little option, display values versus, uh, we can choose different actions uh, and uh, we can also see uh, equity of our whole range against this action and equity of the range that actually uh, chooses this action. Meaning that if we choose, for example, uh, I don't know, let's, let's go call uh, 4.33, we can see equity of our whole starting range uh, against his calling range. Uh, King Jack still has 34% uh, equity. But if we click here, then we see only hands that actually uses uh, this action. I mean, uh, those hands that actually bet 4.33. So yeah, we can take a look uh, at uh, equity of uh, each uh, individual hand uh, against uh, his uh, calling range. And then again, uh, since it's uh, two players mode, uh, on the right, you can actually see uh, equity of our opponent's range against our bet of 4.33 BBs. For example, King Queen has 33% equity, Pocket Queens 59. 
and if we change 4.33 bet to 2.13 we now see his equity against 2.13 bet and again on the left we see equities of our range against his calling range of our bet of 2.13 also, if you want, uh, you can now see uh, EVs uh, and equities of uh, different hands uh, here in the matrix. You just go here and you can select a value which you want uh, to be uh, displayed in the matrix. So for example, if you choose EV, you see average EVs of different hands. If you want uh, certain EVs for uh, each individual combo, you can take a look here. But yeah, in the matrix, you only get uh, average uh, values. And same with equities. And of course, you can also turn all the values off. Okay, now let's see new features uh, in uh, flop reports. Okay, now in the aggregated uh, flop reports, uh, you can see equity, uh, EVs, and uh, equity realization for each and every board. Also, we now have this little board graph where we can uh, quickly go off to uh, low boards or high boards. Of course, we have some filters here. Uh, on the right, uh, we can uh, choose uh, certain uh, high, uh, mid and low cards. Uh, and uh, then, yeah, we have all those boards here and uh, on the graph uh, as well. If you want to see all the flops again, we can click here, uh, show or hide uh, empty strategies. And then we see all the boards here, but uh, the ones that we have selected are now uh, highlighted. So yeah, depending on your goals, you can either see all the boards uh, with the filtered ones uh, highlighted or just the boards that you have actually filtered. Also, in this report, there is a new feature that allows you to see a strategy for a group of hands or for a certain hand uh, on different boards. Uh, what do we have to do uh, to uh, take a look at this? Uh, first, we uh, have to click uh, here on uh, hands. And here we see two matrix. Uh, matrix on the left uh, shows uh, different groups of hands like uh, overpair, uh, straight, draw and so on. And on the right we have a common uh, hand matrix. For example, we want to know how to play it, uh, third pairs. Uh, we click uh, third pair here and then uh, on the right uh, we see uh, different hands. Uh, for example, uh, all the hands which include 5, 4, 3, 2 or an ace or a certain hands like uh, two's four, for example. We click here and now we go back to the matrix uh, on the left where we can see all the different uh, groups of hands. And then, yeah, if we take a look at third pair with uh, when we have third pair with ace four, uh, we mostly check. Uh, we sometimes bet uh, as well, but uh, we can notice that uh, when we have a flush draw or a backdoor flush draw, uh, we bet uh, a little more in terms of sizing. Okay, now let's go back to actions and all the filters that we have applied uh, are still active. And now we can see how we play those hands uh, on uh, certain boards. Uh, by the way, we can check all the filters uh, in the top left corner. A preflop hand 1, which is uh, ace 4, as you remember. Uh, combo draws uh, 7. And finally, uh, 135 uh, flops uh, match our uh, filter options. So yeah, this is how you basically uh, use uh, all those filters. So now we can go to, uh, to boards uh, and see how we play third pairs uh, on certain boards. But uh, we see not only this strategy, but also equity, uh, EVs and equity realization for those hands on different boards. For example, let's take this uh, queen uh, five deuce suited board. Uh, we have 40% equity with our ace four combos, uh, but we realize only 80% uh, of uh, this equity, which means that uh, with every street, uh, we will uh, gain uh, less EV than we have with uh, those combos. So yeah, we won't be able to realize uh, all that equity, all 40%. And if we take uh, this example, like 34% uh, equity and 50% realization, uh, this means that we only realize a 17%. Uh, how we can use it? How we can use this information? For example, if we look at uh, our value bets and we see that we have uh, uh, equity realization less than 100%, that means that we basically want to bet uh, with those hands uh, right now. We want to get uh, our value right now. If we talk about hands uh, that uh, uh, have like one or two streets of value, like weak top pairs or strong uh, second pairs. 
But if you have a hand uh, which can only bet like uh, one or two streets uh, for value and we see that our equity realization is uh, higher than 100%, then we can uh, safely bet uh, with those hands on the later streets. Uh, just because our equity realization uh, will allow us uh, to make uh, more money on turns uh, and reverse than we can actually make uh, on the flop with this hand. And of course, anytime we want, we can go back to uh, hands uh, and we can take a look uh, how to play, for example, a second pairs. We select uh, second pairs, we get rid of third pairs and we go back to actions. And if we take same boards like uh, queen deuce uh, 5, queen 3, 5, we see that uh, equity realization with those hands is uh, higher than 100%. So we can uh, make uh, more money on the later streets uh, actually with those hands. Okay, this was a brief review of the latest uh, GTO base update. If you have uh, any ideas, any suggestions, uh, you can uh, contact us uh, on the 2 plus 2 forum in the GTO based thread. Or you can join our Discord channel or Telegram channel, where you can also keep up to date on latest patches. Thank you very much and have a nice day.